repeated on air. I'm going to buy that. You will? I will buy that, yes. Yeah, we're, Dave is here from 97.1, Dave Glover. Yeah, that was kind of a yes. interesting. You don't expect that from Samuel L., do you? <laughs> it's so outside of his character. Yeah. So he must have really Again? Seriously, one. how many times is this going to happen? Right, so we'll be talking about today. There we go. That is like the second time now that the editing has gone to the crits, and the third time that something comes before the in comes before the channel intro. Hopefully, this doesn't happen again. All right, so this is the uh, second Fluttershy episode this season, and apparently has to deal with her singing because. She does actually sing a solo in solo to start us off. And yes, I will admit that is beautiful. So of course her friends try to encourage her to do more, but as you may expect out of the shy, there's butterflies in their tummies, aka stage fright. Do I still hint of recycling in season four? Well, to the episode's credit, this one's a lot different. Like I said, it involves singing. And it introduces a group known as the Ponytones. That's lovely. And yes, they're really good. But because of the annual turkey call competition, on the day before the night, they are going to perform to raise funds for the Ponyville Pet Center. Big Macintosh, their bass, loses his voice. I think that's a first for this series. And as we almost expect, it's Pinkie Pie that wins that competition. Somehow we should have seen that one coming from a mile away. Fluttershy suggests they go see Sakura to try and brew up a remedy to fix Big Mac. What up here? Well, she does, but it won't make it in time. And then suddenly, callback time! It's a callback to Bridal Gossip as. Rarity actually remembers the poison joke incident where Fluttershy's voice got deepened and southerned, if you will. Oh my. Somehow we should have seen the pitch name The Return of Flutter Guy as a clue. So of course they nail it, and this will this also gets the attention of a few locals to get more performances. I almost thought it was a tour like Photo Finished a bit Fluttershy, but this one's around town, so that works. When Max voice does get better. Fluttershy is still resistant to stop. I should have said she was resistant to stop when first off when the <coughs> band was first offered to 
do more performances. Well, anyway, she's now super resistant. Attempts an encore performance, but <laughs> she is so cut up she accidentally exposes herself <laughs> in a more hilarious way. Instead of just walking on stage, it just curtain collapses in front of the actual tones. No pun intended. And pretty much the truth is exposed by Big Mac in a Big Mac and Applejack in a way that honestly gets a few laughs out of me. And then of course it's the same Hurricane Fletcher routine where they have to try and calm her down and calm Fletcher down and convince her that she's No embarrassment and such. Which of course leads to coming out of the shell of fear. And this time, instead of just coming into the last minute, she actually does a private performance with the tones in front of pony in front of pony friends and animal friends. Unlike Hurricane Fletcher, however, she uh, doesn't continue. Instead of us being left at, will she still be with the team? Or something? Well, anyway, this time she says, get there someday, baby steps. Which I can actually relate to, because it took me a long time to... actually swim like a pro. And I think I can still do it, I just don't usually do it that often. So on the whole, while I'm starting to sense that Amy has a knack for recycling, it's still pretty good. Not as good as Pinkie Pride, but it's pretty good. At least a thumbs up and 4.5 out of 5 at best. So there you go. See you next week.